Quick video of the mule team. That's how it comes in this little cardboard box. Packaging. Mule team 28 of uh, Spider Coast Proprietary Steel CPM Spy 27. These are made in Golden, Colorado. So I did buy, uh, I bought them for the buddy of mine. I don't know if he's gonna want them or not because he likes the flat scales like I do. These are the scales that they were showing on the website. They're contoured, these are the G10. They come with the barrels and the screws. I think these were either, so this is the Boltron sheath. It comes with a G-clip. So one of these was 34 and the other one was 44. I forgot my paperwork and the knife was 50. I just don't remember which one was which on these. So this is an older mule. I, I took off the G-clip and I use it inside the waistband. I think it's just a lot nicer, uh, more slim setup. This is the uh, PD-1 mule that they had forever with the G10 flat scales from Halpern Titanium. And, you know, I'm new to Spyderco in the last three or four years, so I, I'm assuming that all the mules were made in Taichung. I'm not quite sure, maybe somebody can correct me on that, but all the ones I have, I think I have the 20 CV, um, the A11, the RWL34, and the B, I think the B70P. So I was a surprise when I pulled this out, one out and it did say made in Golden, Colorado, which would make sense. You know, instead of shipping the steel halfway around the world, maybe that's why well, they're gonna be a little cheaper. They sold out within an hour. And nobody has an excuse for not getting one. I've, I've read everything on the forums already. There's already a bunch of chatter. People whining about they forgot to set their alarm, you know, whatever. I, everything Spartaco is taking off. Is it the collectors? You know, or is it the flippers? I, these, some of these old ones sat for months, if not a year. I think the PD-1 sat over a year. Maybe people didn't know it was actually the same as crew wear. And a lot of the other ones, I think the B70B was another one that just sat for a really long time. So my buddy Steve, he wanted to know if um, the flat scale sheath, which is a little different if you look, I had Christina from uh, Sheep Pro make me this custom. Because this is the one Spyderco sells on their site. It does fit in here. You know, it locks in pretty good, Steve. You just It's just a little hard, hard to get out. I don't know if you could manipulate it a little bit or not. So I don't know if you're going to want this. You know, no worries if you don't. But it does fit and it does go in snug. You know, I personally like the uh, just the flat style scales on these so there's a there's two more coming up there's a s45 vn which i'm really interested in and then a z max which is uh similar i think it's a little bit below maximum um this is the paperwork that came with it talks about what the mule is you know the terminology is in the knife world this is the 28th mule team and then it talks about the steel you know it gives you the composition here so the, they're announcing these on the Spyderco forum, so if you want to know when they're coming, uh, you know, I suggest you uh, at least put a link to the Spyderco forums, join, and maybe put some kind of a email alert. Uh, I'm not quite sure when the next ones are coming, but these are, once again, sold out. I think there were 600 pieces. There's talk about making this one, since it's proprietary steel. Uh, just a standard production model. Who, who knows how this is all going to play out, but you can't make everybody happy. That's the thing. No matter what Sal does, he gives an inch, they take, you know, a yard. It just drives me crazy. He just tries to be, he tries to accommodate these people that just have nothing to do but complain. So I'm not trying to pick on anybody, but um, you know what? Wake up. If you want something, you know, I've never had any issues trying to get something. So anyways, the Mule Team 28 and Spy 27. 
sure these are going to be on the internet. They'll probably be on Blade Forms, and I definitely will be on eBay. Have a good one.